Hello friends, it's Sherry. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. I am super excited because I just received yesterday my May Your Creative Studio box. So I want to see what's in here. <laughs> Can't wait. The, uh, I think I've gotten two before and they're so cool and that I, you know, I ordered this one. So, yep, this one's May and I got it already. I think last month I got April's kind of at the end, more toward the, like, an, an you know, another week from now at the end of April. This one I already got in the middle of April, I mean May, so that's awesome. Anyway, here's um, Amanda's little thank you card. Yes, okay. And yeah, that not that pretty? I can actually use this side for a, you know, journaling card if I wanted to, or a little decoration and cover up this side. But isn't that pretty? Very vintage looking. It is a vintage style uh, collection and uh, it's uh, your creative studio where they do this, um, you know, gather these vintage goodies. They're not vintage, like old, but they're vintage style. And I always try to keep this uh, tissue paper. I have used it in some of my crafting. This one is, um, well, the last couple have been a hot air balloon kind of style. Almost could be used in steampunk. Let me see what this one is. It's got a coffee there, but I see a hot air balloon over here too, and some actually like coffee pots, and here's an old telephone. So we'll look at it more when I get everything out of here, but let's see what's in here. I haven't seen anyone unbox this one either, so I wasn't spoiled to what was in here this month. Last month I watched um, Gardena uh, unpack her, so this looks cool. So this is all going to be a surprise to me since I haven't seen anyone else. I was just so anxious last month because it took so long to get here. I was like, oh, I've got to see. i got to see what's in there. So this is cool. First of all, look at the color. My checklist. Won't this be fun to use in journals? And these are papery. See, they're white on the back. And there's a bunch. And I've been using these in my journals and in my crafting, you know, ephemera, whatever and sharing um, in, you know, in my goodie bags for my journals. And also, if I just want to stick something in an order, a little something extra, I might stick something from my Your Creative Studio box. So that is what I've been doing with them. But this looks like a fun, and you could, they're papery, but you could put these on cardstock and make them, you know, into a, a more solid uh, journaling card. So, but those are really cool. Those are really cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy those because they're colorful. You know, a little, got a little color to them. See, that was the bag with that. Uh-oh, here's some. These look like, these look like rub-ons. And I've been enjoying these so much. Mr. Paper, it says. Let's see. They look like, um, let me see if they, I can tell. Sometimes it's like, if it doesn't say rub-ons, it's hard for me to tell, like, until I actually try to use them. Like, is this a, st a sticker? A uh, little something you have to cut out and glue down, or is it a rub on? Okay, so these do punch out. Um, a lot of these things are in not in English, like it says in Mr. Paper, but the other stuff here, see, it's not in English, so I, I can't really read as to you know what they're saying about it. But let me try look, punching out a little one here and see exactly if I can figure out what these are. It looks like they have little lines. Well, maybe they're just stickers. Okay. Let me try this side. Nope. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I don't know. They're not punching out at the moment. I might just not be uh, doing something right here. But, yeah, I'm going to experiment with these a after the video because I cannot figure out how to get them off of here. Because I don't feel like rub-ons. Um, they're just very, uh, like a vellum feeling. You know how rub-ons are? Like, I'll try to rub one off, but I'm pretty much sure it's not going to come off, right? Let's see, where's my little, where's my little tool? I was just using it. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. This little tool here is good, good for rub-ons. And I use this, this is, um, this, they call it, a, this side, I think they call it a score. A little scorer, you know, to score paper. See, it's not, I don't believe this is a rub on. I know, them, I know I'm know i wasting my time. I just want to prove it to myself that it's not a rub on. Yeah, see, nothing happened. 
I knew it. Okay. So I think it's probably a punch out, unless you're supposed to. It's just why is there a line around it if you're not supposed to just pop it out. Anyway, enough spent on that, but they are pretty whenever I figure out what they are. I'll probably have to watch other unboxings and see if anybody else knows what they are, and then I can figure it out too. But they are really beautiful, and it would look beautiful right on this paper right here, wouldn't it? Can you see one just right there? Wouldn't that be pretty? Or at the top here? Yeah, those will be pretty when I figure out how to use them. <laughs> okay, so here is... Now this does look like stickers. They're birds, and here's a windmill. Let me take it out of the out of the packaging because I know that causes glare on the on the camera. So let's see what we have in here. So here, oh, this is this black is the packaging. Oh, it's white. See, I thought that I don't know what I thought. Anyway, yeah, it's white. So this is oh, this is similar to that. Again, it has the lines around it, but it's some kind of a, a punch out or something. See, it doesn't peel off. It's not It's not a sticker. So again, another thing I have to figure out, but it will be pretty once I figure out how, what, how you're supposed to use this. I mean, maybe you're just supposed to cut it out and that's showing you where to... Oh, okay, this one popped out. Hold on. I was just pulling on it right here at the side. So maybe it is a pop out. Yeah, okay. Ah, we figured it out. Okay. Let's see. Oh, what? What in the world? So this is peeling off of here. This over layer that is like stuck on there. I don't understand. <laughs> I hope I'm not doing something wrong here. But uh, still, it doesn't want to pop off. All right, nope, we didn't figure it out. Still didn't figure it out. Okay, all right, I'm going to leave it alone before I tear it up. But um, surely this is supposed to come off. But I don't know if you're supposed to just cut those up or what. I've never used anything like that before, so. I mean, I have used things you cut apart, but it's just different from anything I've used before, I guess, is what I should say. Anyway, the next little package here. These look awesome. They're like little, you know, I, we love the postage stamps, and these look like, I don't like acetate postage stamps. So let's just take a couple out here so we don't... Because there's a bunch in there. Can you see how many are in there? And different colors, too. Pink. There's some pinks and blues in there. That's cool. So here's a few. And these are... You peel off the back, I'm sure, and stick them, them, stick them down. And these are usually hard for me to get going on video, too. Uh, if I can do it real quick, I'll, tr I'll try one out for you. But um, you, I would think with the um, little kind of, you know, serrated kind of edge here that you'd be able to possibly get this off a little easier. But no, that is not the case. So these will be fun to use, though I do like them, even though they're a little hard to get off once you get that off they're really pretty and so many ways to use these right just on a page in a cluster on ephemera so yes those would be lots of fun oh look at this pretty one here and let me just see if i can grab a couple of those colorful ones because those are i'd like to show them to you they're way back in the back here though let me see if i can grab a couple and get those out of the package uh, yeah, I got a couple of blue ones and a green one here. Yeah, let's let's look at these a little closer. So you see how they're all kind of, well, I mean, they look, they're like, they have the edge like a postage stamp. But this one has a 10 over here. And then the little words, probably like the Latin words of plants. There's a butterfly. This one has a 15. And it has the blue border. And then this one, oh, this one's really pretty. You see that with the pink and then all the the text and then the green, very light green border. So very pretty. I love those. Something different. So and there's so, always so many things in these packages. That's why. And I always like everything. So that's why I didn't hesitate to order another one. Let's see. So these are, is this washi? I think it is. Let's see. How does it open? 
Let me get my scissors here. There's no little, I don't feel anything there. I guess you have to open it at the end here and poke a hole there. Let's see what we have. So yeah, I've been cleaning up my craft room this morning from my journal I just finished. Trying to, you know, I like to keep things in order as much as possible in a craft room, if that's possible. <laughs> you know, when we get so much stuff in here, it's kind of hard to, but it, that's another reason to keep it in order because there's so much stuff in here. Okay, so what is this? I'm just opening a mystery package this month. Oh, so it's like washi, but it, it's, uh, well, that's just a piece. Is that just random or are they all like that? They all peel off like, oh, there, are they little dots? Well, another little thing I have to experiment with. Okay, I think, I think they're little dots, maybe. Oh, here we go. Okay, so here we go. See, it's like this on this paper, and they are, are they all separate little dots, and they're like a vellum kind of, you know, feeling, and they're different shades of this red. I think I just folded that one and I crushed it. <laughs> They're a little delicate. They're a little thin, but um, that will be interesting. This would make a great background, though. But you're supposed to peel them off of here and use them, I guess. But that is different, huh? I'm going to have to figure that one out. Um, you know who gets this package, who I've been watching, is uh, Nina Rabina. And she'll do a craft with her. She does lots of crafts with her, and I've been watching her, and I've been wanting to do some of the things that she's been doing. And so I'm, that's my plan, but I just haven't had the time to do it yet. Okay, let's get everything else out of here so I can move the box out of the way real quick because I want to maybe experiment. I have some coffee dyed paper here we can experiment on if we want to. Here is the, oh, here's an extra little bag in here. Did I, or maybe I put that in there. Okay, so, okay, here's the um, tissue paper this month. And it's got different stuff on it, so that's cool. And I like to say that I have saved all of them so far and used some of them. So let me put that box over here out of the way and see what we have, what else we have here. Here's my coffee dyed paper. I have a stamp pad here too. So some pretty stickers. Now, um, I understand that Amanda designs the ones here that say your creative, creative studio. So I think she always includes one, uh, at least one sheet of the ones she designs. And these are pretty black and white roses. So you know those will be pretty to use. And then here's the papers that are included this month. So they look, sometimes it's hard to tell because some of them are just thick and then some of them are sticker paper. So this is, um, let's see, are these typewriters? Yeah. So these are typewriters. And it has, you can see kind of like a collage type background. And it's going over the typewriters. So if you can't see the typewriters, like you can see this one pretty good. Here's the carriage and here's the keyboard up down here. Uh, so I believe that's typewriters from what I can tell. And then here's another pretty paper. See they're white on the back. These feel like just paper. These these right here feel like paper. And there's that one. Which way is up? I think that way is up. See, there's the typewriter again. So, and there were, was there typewriters on the, oh, there was coffee and coffee pots on them. I'm just trying to see what the theme in here is. There's a lot of roses, I guess, because Amanda did the sticker sheet of roses, and then those other things had roses on them. So these are also pretty. These kind of have a graph paper background or ledger background. And here, this one goes like this. See, see the background there? Isn't that pretty? And again with the roses. So that's the papers this month. Well, what is this? See, it do, it's a little hard because you can't, <laughs> I can't read like, this is a spray or something. I can't, I can't read it. So let's see. There's a little bit of, bit of pictures here, though. So you you twist off. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can figure it out from the picture. So we'll see what this is. Maybe real quick on our coffee dyed paper here. If we can uh, figure it out from the pictures. It looks like some kind of a... Uh, it has like a spongy tip, maybe. It's nothing I've ever seen before. So 
This is a complete experiment, but I kind of want to see what it is. Uh, is it? I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, so you take twist off the lid. From the picture, it looks like you twist off the lid. Okay, I twisted off the lid. And then you press down. I'm trying to see, this is some this is a roller. Is this I don't know what it is. Okay. Let's do it like like this is a decoration. Is it glitter? Maybe it's glitter, like glitter tape. I just see sparkles here on the on the bottle here. See the sparkles? And this is sticky like it's tape on this, like a roller. So let's see here. It's, it's sticky. It is sticky. <laughs> but what do you... <laughs> this is so funny. I'm really going to have to watch somebody use these things this month because I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> but I think once we figure it out, it'll be fun, right? <laughs> so maybe you're supposed to put something in here. I'm not sure because it says, you know, roll it, and then it says, has it up? I mean, you can't put anything in there, can you? I don't think so. And it has it like this, but why would you hold it like that? It's the same. And then it shows a picture like this where you hold it. Well, like there's an opening here. It opens. There's an arrow here, and it opens in some way, and then once you open it, you do something, and then you close it back up, and you're ready to go. <laughs> um, it has a picture of an airplane here, uh, like a little calculator, and I don't know. I don't know, guys. I might have to Google this one. <laughs> also figure out what it is maybe I'll find something but it looks like it's sticky that's all I know maybe you're supposed to put something on the like glitter on the uh, I don't know interesting now I'll figure it out eight millimeter <laughs> that is funny because so, yeah I don't usually you know run into things I don't know what they are so it's kind of funny okay all right, so this is a little charm, cool. Bronze, and it's the rose again, so it must be a rose theme this month. Little charm, pretty little charm, like a pendant, but it could be used as a charm. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, that's nice, that'd be nice to use. Also, I could use it on a tassel too. Charm for a tassel, so this is, oh, this is washi. So the other one wasn't, because she usually includes a washi, but the other one wasn't washi, it was just stickers. I have saved all of my envelopes. So let's see what the washi is. Oh, pretty roses. Wow, this is different from anything I have. But I like it. It's very kind of vintagey looking roses. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's put some on here. Let's put some on the coffee dyed paper. It's going to look beautiful on here, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. <laughs> know how to use that right <laughs> something I know how to use okay so I'm gonna cut it off right here oh that, that is so pretty on that coffee dyed paper let me fold it like it was a page and show you here how it would look if I was using this on the edge of a page that's gorgeous isn't that pretty I love it and of course you can use it on ephemera and stuff like that too or to hold something down but isn't that really I just love that wow that's gorgeous okay and there's a little envelope let's save that okay so what is next oh this is these are fun little boxes when you have these put my scissors out of the way these are something that is going to be cool I know it <laughs> I have a feeling there was some last month too and uh these little boxes, first of all, awesome. It's a dragonfly, looks like a, almost like a calendar. Here's the front, so this is probably what's in there, these little notes. I love these little long and narrow notes. They're so, so just plain cool, <laughs> besides being pretty. Okay, I wonder if it has a dragonfly on it. 
or if they're all the same. Let's see. So exciting. Oh, they're not all the same. There's a bunch in there. Okay. Aren't these cool? I guess this is up. Sorry about changing around like that. But okay, so there's this pattern. Oh, look. That pattern. Oh, cool. So all different. Everyone's different. Every, I don't know if everyone's different. How, you know, far. Let's see. We're not repeating yet. Very cool. I mean, I love stuff like this. <laughs> this is so different and just, oh, here's the one with the dragonfly. Isn't that cool? Oh, this one. They're like, that looked like a ticket. Cole's Pharmacy. And like a playing card there, though, at the top. Old typewriter, it says. Oh, bunny. <laughs> That's not a puppy, is it? I think it's a bunny. It's got long ears. <laughs> Oh, there's a rose. Oh, like a dandelion or a daisy. So pretty. And then these are craft colored. And they're craft colored on the back too. Wow. See, I love stuff like this. That one says $2.50. Enter, like a ticket, enter gate. So, okay, so maybe this similar ones in... Oh, there's the bunny again. See, similar. They're the same ones in the craft color. And then you go to these, which are, see, different shapes here. Mountain background. These could be made into bookmarks or uh, really cool. You can put little something at the top. See, here's a hole. Put a little ribbon at the top. And if you wanted to make it more firm, you could put it on some file folder. Or I could. And make these into the cutest little bookmarks ever. Oh, there's a bee. <sighs> okay, but okay, like an ad dictionary adverb <laughs> description there. So those are cool. Awesome, actually. All right. I can't wait to work, work with those. I've got to get busy on working with my doing the little things I want to do with the with these okay so okay we have one more thing to look at so she oh yeah I thought this was a rubber stamp so no rubber stamp this month which is fine I've got way too many rubber stamps already <laughs> yeah I didn't see a rubber stamp I want to make sure I didn't miss it because I was ready because there's always like I said I've only gotten two and there's been rubber stamps and more than one in actually in each one so these are some vellum oh cool let's see how they look on here and you could uh, put each one down on a something and have it as uh, like a let's see how it looks over writing or text I just have this handwriting here of mine oh I'm stuck to my dots <laughs> but then see you can see through it if you put some text behind it or something or whatever you put behind it and then if you put it on plain like coffee dye paper well, here's the roses through it, and then here's coffee dyed paper through it. So, yeah. And it, you could use it as a whole, but see, there's like two pieces on here. You could actually cut it in half and use it, the, these particular ones that way. So there's a bunch of those. Let's see. Those are all that. And then this one is it says coupon book on it. It's got like kind of a dark burgundy, you know, the color here is kind of a dark burgundy. So that's the coupon book one. Let's see what else we have. Let's see, let's see. And this one, like an ad. And here's a little coupon there you fill out. And that's... So that's that one, and that is the rest. Okay, so that is the completion of the unboxing of my Your Creative Studios. And if you want to hang on for a minute, I want to show you something I made today that was a lot of fun. Um, if you um, have been watching my channel for a while, you know 
a little while ago, not too long ago, my sister-in-law, one of my sister-in-laws gave me a Cricut. She got the computerized one, and she had the one that didn't wasn't computerized. She gave it to me, and she got a new computerized one. But today, I haven't had a lot of time. I've used it a little bit, but not a lot. But today, I said, you know, I, was, I keep saying, I want to do this, I want to do that, but I don't do it. And I'm like, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it today. <laughs> so I cut out with some of my some file folders. These are tiny tags, and you guys know I like to make tiny tags, and these are like, what these are one inch. I think I put the, I set it on one inch and made these little tags out of file folder. Aren't they super adorable? And then I was like, okay, well, I can't stop there. Let's see what scraps I have. <laughs> and I had some scrapbook paper. This is uh, all double-sided here, and cut out these little tags, because I just want to see how... They went through and cut and everything so those are super cute now they actually have a little hole that i haven't punched out yet because i got to take a little pin and poke all the holes out but i i uh, may or may not do that because that's a lot of holes and i actually did some with my writ dyed file folder that i have in my scrap box here are those um you can see how pretty and cute they, they were coffee dyed and writ dyed colors so that's the uh, writ dyed side the pink side it was a burgundy red dye, and that was file folder I had in my scraps. I was like, I need to do this, something with these, and I, I colored them all with coffee and uh, red dye, but that's the coffee color side there. So those came out super cute, too, and if I have another second here, I wanted to show you what I did with one of my scrappy tattered quilts, piece squares. I made, I think I used it all up now, but... I may not have it all in this bag, but I I have, um, this is a layered heart, so I just cut out hearts. Um, I didn't have a template or anything, I just cut them out. You know how you fold paper in half and then you just do that to make a heart? That's how I did these. And I made small ones, medium ones, and, and these larger ones, and that's just three of them sewn together. So I sewed around each one on here, and this one was just to have the stitching on it, but... It did go across these three on the bottom. And so I made some of those. And let's see what else. This one I put a little tat, like a little loop on the top and sewed that on. I made a little scrappy bow here. Those are fun to make, uh, use like fabric scraps and make little scrappy bows. Isn't that cute? And that was a quilted, that wasn't, was, oh, these are from, these are from something else. These aren't from the scrappy quilt. These are from a quilted uh, something other something else I got at a thrift store. But this is from the scrappy quilt, a little round. And then these little hearts are from the scrappy quilt, and I haven't sewn these together. But I just cut whatever I could fit in the piece that I had. I didn't make any certain size. Just took whatever little piece I had from the scrappy tattered quilt and cut all these little hearts out. So now I can have these and can glue it down on a page. I can sew it onto something, ephemera. I can sew them together like I did those other layered pieces and just, you know, see see how cute they are with all the little quilted pieces together. And then you cut cut them into hearts through that. Isn't that cool? And you had a way I just wanted to share. I had that here and I had I don't think I'd shared it with you. See that's that old fabric from that like antique quilt. And I do have some of those squares in my the tattered and the non-tattered <laughs> in my shop, but I just uh, had fun uh, trying to you know see how I would use one, and I plan on using some more. So, thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see y'all next time. Happy crafting.